Time now to break down the latest in the NFL world. Let's welcome in our Jason Lockham for us. The Rams have released the former face of their franchise and Todd Gurley. Now he's off to Atlanta to become a Falcon. How do you think Gurley will fit in in Atlanta? Well, I mean, look, they, they let go Devontae Freeman. Uh, the running back market is, as it has been the last few years, depressed significantly from a financial standpoint. I think that Le'Veon Bell contract, the Jets' new regime was regretting it the moment they got in there, and, and they'd like to peddle that if they could, but it'll be difficult. Um, just because David Johnson got traded didn't mean everybody was going to be able to move their bad running back contracts, and this one stood out as the worst, unfortunately, because of the concerns about uh, Gurley's knee and, and its deterioration. Uh, I don't have the numbers on this contract yet. I can't fathom that the guarantee is significant given the fact that there's no physical that was able to be conducted right now, given the fact that Gurley's workload uh, had decreased dramatically the last couple of years with the Rams. Um, but could, could he give them something for one year? I, I guess it's possible. I don't think it'll be a huge financial commitment. The Falcons don't have that much cap space to begin with. Uh, that's a transitioning team, one that seems to be hoping against hope that there isn't a full rebuild on the horizon. I think there is. I'm not sure how much this will mask that. And, and if the Falcons are not markedly better next year, I don't see any way in which owner Arthur Blank doesn't clear the deck from a coaching, management, and roster standpoint. Do you expect to see the girly of younger years or more of like the last year or two? I mean, I, I don't know that you turn back the clock when you know you have an arthritic knee that the more wear and tear you put on it, uh, the worse it responds. And, and that's sort of the reality here. I mean, just look at what the Rams did and what they're going to eat to get a guy off the books who 18 months ago we all would have thought of as an, a perennial MVP candidate. You know, a guy who any given year, uh, if you got him with the first pick in your fantasy draft two years ago, you're doing cartwheels. Um, a guy who they built that thing around. I mean, he was the engine that made it go, and golf could just dink and dunk off of it, hit the occasional deep play action, and they were fine. He's gone. They got nothing for him. So if you're a Falcons fan, and, you know, you're thinking, hey, man, we just got an MVP on the cheap. I, I, I think if you're judicious in how you use him, if you spot him in certain ways, um, put him in certain packages, you might be able to get a little bit of bang for your buck, but the days of him being an every down back, I just can't fathom that's in the cards. Now, looking back on the Todd Gurley deal, making him the highest paid running back in the NFL back in 2018, now reports saying that he's going to Atlanta. Clearly, it didn't work out for him in L.A. So what can a future GM take away from that deal? Well, I think it's something that's happened consistently. You know, we went through this cycle a number of years ago where teams stopped paying running backs and they stopped drafting running backs very high. And then the importance of the running game was shown through teams that were having success. And we started drafting running backs high again and we started paying running backs high again. You know, it happened with Todd Gurley. It happened with Zeke Elliott. It's happened with um, Devontae Freeman at the Falcons. But what's happened is these players have done their second contracts, gotten big deals, and then and all of a sudden physically they fall off the cliff so to speak pretty quickly and that's what's happened with Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley had some residual injury concerns coming out because he had you know signs of there being early um, early issues with his knee and a little bit of arthritic condition. Now a couple of years later after he signs his contract the, the last two years he's really been unproductive and right now, what's showing up with the uh, the Los Angeles Rams is not only the Todd Gurley contract, but a number of contracts that they did to try to do something in such a small time frame to win right now are really coming back to haunt them. What's your biggest concern when you have a running back that's in such decline like that? Yeah, I think the biggest concern is what is the history and what is the, you know, how many reps is he getting? How many times is he carrying the ball? How much punishment is being put on his body? And again, it's a very difficult position because history has shown us that there are very few uh, running backs that have a long uh, window of opportunity in terms of being productive. And what we've seen is a lot of 
players, you know, take the San Francisco 49ers and Kyle Shanahan in his offense in particular. He has a running backs coach by the name of Bobby Turner, who's been with Kyle, you know, in his time with the 49ers. He was here in, the, in Atlanta with the Falcons. He was also with Kyle's dad at the Washington Redskins. And what has happened is they've done a great job of taking average running backs and making them good running backs by the system and using them in ways that they can really, really flourish in that particular offense. But the, the, the story is here that you have to be careful about overpaying for past history and think about paying for the future. So Todd Gurley agreeing to terms with the Falcons. We'll see how he turns out there. Now, Guru expert here, Dave Richards, joining us. And this is coming in literally about four or five minutes ago. I'm literally re-ranking him right now. Oh, oh boy. Right it's, here. And I was going to ask it's you. It's happening. Well, the question coming in. Where are we putting him? You know, <laughs> how does this question. impact his fantasy value going to Atlanta now? It's a great landing spot for him because this is a Falcons offense that has used the running back in a big way, both as a running back and pass catcher out of the backfield for many, many years. That's something that Todd Gurley can do. It's obviously going back to a place where I think he'll feel comfortable being back in the ATL. And there really isn't another running back on the roster right now that can threaten Gurley's playing time. But it doesn't mean that there won't be after the NFL draft. I'm sure they're going to draft somebody young to pair with Gurley. He'll be in a timeshare situation, so it'll be a lot different than what he has in L.A. But he can still be capable for a fantasy lineup. And I think he can still catch about four or five passes per game in this offense. That's huge. So I would look at him somewhere in that round four, round five range. I'm putting him behind Marlon Mack for sure. Going to put him behind James Conner for sure. Uh, some receivers I'm going to put him behind. Tyler Lockett, A.J. Brown. I would weigh him in that same range as maybe Philip Lindsay, Keenan Allen, who I'm not very high on because of the quarterback change in L.A., A.J. Green. He's going to be in that range. So you're going to get a discount on Todd Gurley, but it's still very good that he found a destination where he can play and potentially get around 15 touches per week. Gurley coming off a career low, 857, I believe, uh, there with the Rams. Yeah. But speaking in terms of Devonta Freeman out, Gurley in, how much of an upgrade is that for the Falcons offense? It's an upgrade, but it's not huge. Sure. Like, you, you hear Todd Gurley's name and you think, oh my God, you know, he's a former, you know, he's, he's the fantasy football legend, let's just call it that, because <laughs> he gets so many yards and so many touchdowns, and we've seen it from him, and last year was no exception. He had a ton of touchdowns. But I don't see his skill set matching the production that we're used to seeing from him. Last year, he barely had over 1,000 total yards. He had a lot of work. We know that the knee is a serious concern for Todd Gurley. So, there, there's definitely a way for him to get close to Maybe more yards than he had last year, maybe 1,100, not a lot more. But the touchdowns are going to come way down. I don't think that that's going to be sustainable. I think he kind of fluked into that last year. That was L.A. kind of giving him so much work in the red zone. It's an upgrade over Freeman. I don't think it's a huge upgrade. And I'm still, I'll say it again, I, I am positive that the Falcons are not done at running back this offseason. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.